Sup guys, welcome one and all to the uh, fourth video in this video series titled Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2022. We're here. Um, there's no time to mark around, there really isn't. Uh, we've got a mammoth task in front of us and um, we're three videos in. But I'm going to come to you prepared this time. I have some stats from a man, Leonard Williams, plays for the Giants, he's a defensive end. Uh, got picked up in the first round of the 2015 draft with pick number six. Round number one, USC for 20, from 2012 to 2014. He's six foot five and 300 goddamn pounds. Born on June 20th, 1994. He's 28 years of age. He's a California man. He played at the Jets um, from the moment he was drafted to 2019. He's been at the Giants. He stayed within the New York vicinity, so to speak. Uh, in fact, do they play at the same stadium? They must. It must be like on either either sides of New York. Look, I I actually don't know. But regardless of that, he's played at the Giants since 2019. He's made one Pro Bowl appearance in 2016. He, being a defensive end, he has 405 total tackles, 35 and a half sacks, five forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, one interception, and nine pass deflections. And being that he's six foot five, he's probably got a wingspan of about two and a half meters. Um, yeah, he'll be deflecting some passes. That's all we're going to cover at the moment. We've got a two minute and 47 second video. I've been. Um, here for about two minutes already, so let's, let's get into it. Boy, 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 if y'all ain't feeling it in your veins, boy, golly. I think everybody knew he was going to be a, a dominant player. In the Tell you what, when you've got the entire home crowd behind you, it's a feeling. I have I have always wondered about it. It's a feeling that I've always um, been intrigued about. It's a feeling I've always wanted, and it's a feeling I'll never get. League, just his size. Yeah, he's it's got some long arms. Fourth and three. <laughs> Tell you what, how how, how can that how can that offensive lineman let him through so so easily? I think he always played with that. He's Leonard kind of Williams. Lane, Just a dominant force. Leonard Williams. I have no idea why the Colts came to mind. Maybe it was a... Well, it's... Oh, here he is. The big man. The man with the thickest neck in the NFL, Cameron Jordan. You talk about Big Cat. Uh, where did that nickname come from? It seems obvious. He's big. He's powerful. And a leader of the Giants defense. Yes, sir. Three, two, one, let's go! He could beat a guy with strength and power, or beat him with a quick swim move and be in the backfield disrupting, and got a knack for getting to the quarterback as well. Oh, that's just not good enough. That is not good enough by the uh, the offensive line there. But in saying that, we're talking about the 97th best player in the entire league. So. He slammed to the turf. Leonard Williams. You just seen working against Eric tell, Flowers. Tell you what, just though. Relentless in that power rush. Seriously? He just keeps working, just powers through that. He silently molded himself into a well-rounded player. He's not silent on the field. He's been making noise the last two seasons on the top 100. Is that right? Tell you what, I thought Julio Jones was the loudest player on the field. I think it might be Leonard Williams. You've gone. Tell you what, it would be a real luxury. I mean, I know drives go for, you know, phase after phase after phase. But it would be a real luxury being able to reset, you know, get your breath back and, and go just at, at that 110% um, capacity. You know, that, that real uh, just, you know, just, just, just basically, I mean, all I'm saying is that when I, can, when I compare 
the play of these guys to that of rugby. You've got guys who are that big and that, and probably most probably that fast. You know what I mean? But they've been grinding for minutes on minutes on minutes on minutes, and most plays they are just you know so gassed um, that they you know they simply cannot perform at their 100% capacity. But when you've got the ability to reset, restart, and have a play that lasts what four or five seconds, maybe eight at the most. It do, it's a it's a real luxury to to have that and um, you know I'm not making any excuses for any rugby players but I will say that if you insert some of our you know tight forwards or or even back row forwards um, into the game of American football at that exact position right here you know you've got this one guy in front of you you've got time to recoup your um your power and your explosiveness. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. A few of these rugby guys could do it. They could do it. From strictly interior to him being able to flex out. Lee Smith, he's doing all he can, but Leonard Williams is a big man. Get him. It's different when you have 300 plus pounds coming off that edge with a whole lot of power for offensive tackle. Who's been <laughs> yeah, let's be honest, guys. Look. Um, Jeez. 300 pounds. All right, the only 300 pounders I know of are on the bodybuilding stage, and they can't move. They cannot move. They can't even tie their fucking socks. Sorry, put on their socks, tie their shoes. Um, so to have a man that big, that 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 tall, that can actually move like that, that is, yeah, that's it's next level. It's something you don't really know what it's like until you come up against it. Isn't that right, Cameron? B guy for a couple weeks. Big guys definitely know how to fold an offensive tackle. So yeah, I love that for him. Under pressure. Go Hubbard. Initial pressure from Leonard Williams. Classic me. Just look at the running back. <laughs> his ability to flex in, flex out, and just his ability to grow the last couple years has been pretty great. Stafford is going to get sacked. Tipped by Leonard Williams. He plays the game the way it's supposed to be played, and he's excelling in a way that I think you know everybody knew he could. And he's a guy who who's actually going to rock the hair. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys, if they grew their hair out, would most probably have somewhat of a, a, a similar hairstyle. Um, I like it. You know, it's a lot of maintenance, but but I like it. So here we are, four year, four years into it, five years into it, four videos into it. Uh, Ninety six, Jimmy Ward. Not a name I'm familiar with. He's a safety for the 49ers, and he comes in at number ninety six on the list. Hope you've enjoyed the video series so far. Head down into the, the description box below and, and check out some um, options for you guys to support the channel, support the videos, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Much love.